Hi, this is K-Bar user. Um, it's been raining, freezing rain, sleeting here for three days. I can't get back out in the bush again. So, just wanted to bring you uh, some knives. But these are older ones. Okay, first one I want to start with. Now this knife, you, um, you generally found these in a hardware store or whatever. They're generally your boy's first hunting knife during the 60s and 70s. Now this is a uh, this is in a, a colonial fishing knife fixed blade. Comes with a fish scaler on top. A very thin I think it's only a sixteenth of an inch, maybe even less. Four inch blade, but it is like razor. Now these were very cheap knives. So a lot of them didn't survive, but they came in with the white scales. They came with brown scales and black ones, I believe. Uh, two pin handle. These are plastic, these scales. Uh, just, you know, some decorative aluminum here and here for the, the pommel and the choil. Nice looking little knives though, and they work great for hunting knives, fishing knives. The sheaths came, uh, they're, they're good leather sheaths, riveted, which is something you don't see nowadays. Everything is nylon and junk, but they're, you know, they're thin leather. They're, I think they sold for two dollars at most hardware stores. Now, moving up in price a little bit in quality. This is another Imperial hunting knife. Vintage 60s, 70s. A um, little bit thicker blade, about a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, I believe this is a, it's a four and a half inch blade, five inch blade. The stainless steel uh, guard on it. The handles themselves were plastic again made to look like stag but they were plastic two pins this one I'm not quite sure if you can get it in there or not but it has a picture of a a rather antlery I'm gonna say moose and uh, yeah they were a nice knife for the price these generally ran around 3 350 most hardware stores during the 60s or 70s Really nice knife for a boy's first hunting knife. It did the job. And believe me, there was billions of them out there. These came in, well, this kind here. They also came in black handle. They also came in, uh, I believe, a white handle. But it has a universal type sheath. You can either use it for right or left hand. You can see it's just a little bit thicker leather, and it is riveted. little uh, belt loop on the top here to hold your knife in so yeah these were um, like I said these were boys knives you generally bought in the, the hardware store anywhere in the United States for right around 350 or so <clears throat> there's you know Colonial Imperial same knife company uh, just different names it's like Uncle Henry old timer charade you know three knives one company the next two I'd like to bring you is this a copy of the first knife I've ever used for hunting, bushcrafting, or whatever. Um, same knife, but just mine was long gone. This is an Imperial fish knife. This is by Imperial Company. This is uh, fake mother of pearl handles. These are moving up a quality though. The stainless steel pommel, stainless steel um, swell there in front. Clip point, five inch, what they call a toothpick now, blade. This particular knife here, my original one, it cleaned everything from squirrels to fish to my first deer. Also in this knife, since it is a fish knife, they sold just single blade toothpick models also. It came with this secondary blade, which is a hookless gorger, 
from the fish. I don't know if you can see that little split. There's a scaling blade and a bottle opener. Remember at the time we're talking uh, probably mid 60s to early 80s you still had lid bottles with the caps on them. So that is the uh, that's the Imperial fish knife. The next one up this is a colonial fish knife. Now these putting these Imperials they also came with uh, solid yellow scales, black, uh, brown, cellulose, uh, turtle shell. It's like a brown and uh, tan mottled yellow. They came in a, a million different colors. Now this knife here is a colonial. Same deal. It's the same knife company, like I said. But it, this one here has got a 4 inch toothpick blade, stag, plastic scales. This had a bale in the back though so you could hook it to a lanyard or a belt. So this is moving up in quality just a little. These knives come razor sharp and I, you probably seen this one on my tripod video. This is a kept it in my pocket for a, this is a camp knife. They don't bring a whole lot of collector's prices but obviously these are from the 60s, 70s and um, you know, I got these knives and they're like brand new. So that's a Colonial and on this Colonial also has the exact same blade. It's got the hook disgorger here. You actually push that up against the hook, unhook the fish inside of its mouth, scaling blade, bottle opener. So yeah, um, great knives. I mean, I have no problem with them. They still have, you know, nice tight springs. I don't like doing that, but just to show you, and they still have nice tight, nice tight springs to them for the age of these knives. And this one does come with a little badge in there. That says fish knife on it. I don't know sure if you can make it out, but it, that's what it says, fish knife. So yeah, there's a colonial and an imperial. Same knife. But they are gorgeous. I mean, I really enjoy using these blades. Same deal here. Colonial. Imperial. Antique blades. Did they work as good as the new ones? Dart tooting they did. As long as you use what a knife, use them for what a knife is supposed to be used for, they lasted the boys a lifetime obviously. So, this is K-Bar user. I'd like to thank you for your time and your patience. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, hopefully someday it'll stop raining and my field of mud will go away and we'll get back out in the field. Alright, well, you all have a great night. We'll see you on the next one.